Hey, how's it going? This is Chris, and this is a simple tutorial on how to play Them Shoes by Patrick Sweeney. Such an awesome song, really cool riff that you can just play over and over and over again. Uh, it's awesome for learning how to finger pick, how to get some rhythm, and how to sing and play at the same time. Uh, the song itself is in G tuning, or an open G, but um, you can play it in, in the standard E tuning, but I think that the sound might not be as solid and as full as what it could be, so try out open G tuning. Um, the only exception with the tuning though is that it's the high E is actually kept a high E and not tuned down to a B. So keep that in mind. Um, I'll mention it again, but let's just get into it. I'm going to break down the main riff into three parts and um, hopefully it'll make sense. Okay, thanks. Alright, so here is the intro riff, the riff that basically carries throughout the entire song. I'm going to break it down into three parts, what I like to call the um, bass picking, the rhythm picking, and then the accent picking. This is as much as I've been able to figure out, so hopefully it's somewhat close to what it's meant to be, and hopefully I don't mess up too bad. Is this up loud enough? Sweet. Okay. That's the riff itself, and so you've got a bass part. The bass part starts on the low D string at the 5th fret, to the 8th, and then to the 10th, okay? Notice that I'm using my ring finger, and I'll tell you, and you'll see why in a second. So that's the bass part right there. Now for the rhythm part, you're going to have to end up um, picking with another finger. You can choose whichever one you want. I use the middle finger um, to hit the accent note on the open G. Okay? Here we go. I shouldn't have said accent. I should have said rhythm. My bad. The rhythm picking. hit the B because it'll sound like that and it'll, and it'll sound like shit, I promise you. So I'm not even using much force at all when I'm going through to play it. And then, um, okay, then, then you put in the accent, the accent notes. On the B string at the 8th to the 10th fret, I use my index finger and the pinky to um, finger it, so I go... How was it? Yeah, just like that. Okay, so it's pretty standard like that. Um, a more complex thing that you can do with this would be to go to 8, 10, 8, 8, 10, 8, and um, instead of picking that last 10th um, fretted note, you go, you hammer off, basically, but also flick the string on the way out so that you can get a little, you know, you get a little extra power out of it. Instead of just going, instead of going, flick it a little bit and go, like that. Alright. So now what you do is you put that all together. Whoops. times and hit a couple strings so you got to be really careful with it and just be gentle because if you're using an electric guitar and using a lot of gain you don't necessarily have to really chomp on the strings you can just you literally just tap the strings with your the pads of your fingers I'm not really even using nails at all um, yeah but okay so that's the main riff Alright, so the next part of this is basically where the singing starts, and that is really cool. It's a cool way to learn how to sing because you're actually playing the same notes that you're singing. So um, it's going to start on the, um, and this is where I need to note that this high E string is actually still a high E, and it wasn't tuned down to be like in normal open G's tuning. Um, so 
keep that in mind. It makes it easier to play, and also, um, like for instance, if it was in open D, I'd have to play higher up on the fretboards and then jump, jump down here to play the rest of them. So um, it starts like this, basically. <laughs> That's it. No big mystery. You're going 3-1, three, 3-1, one, three, one, 3 open. 3-1, three, 3-open, 3-1, three, 3-open, open, 3-open. Three, three, That's it. Simple. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, simple. That's what I got. Um, you could play definitely on a different part of the fretboard with this to get a fuller song, but that's what seems to make sense to me, but maybe you can figure something else out. Okay, so after you've gone through this part a few times, um, or a couple times actually, I think, it turns into more of a solo. Um, and now I'm going to be playing on the G um, exclusively, and starting at the 6th fret going to the 7th, and then I think open to the third to the fifth, but you can watch what's going on here. It's basically the solo right there. So I'm going six seven, and it's weird because you want it sounds like you want to start at the seven and then go to the six to do that. But I think from what I've if I've if I'm listening um, closely enough to the recording, it starts at the 6th first and goes to the 7th. Oh, so I'm going, um, I'm sliding from the 3rd to the 5th to the eight, uh, to the 7th, and then I'm going to the B string on the 6th, down here, to the 5th again. That makes sense? Actually, you can play it open too, I suppose. Man, this is where it's getting really kind of confusing, right? <laughs> Alright, let me see. Um, where the hell was I? And that's pretty much all I got. That's all I got for you. Um, in terms of the solo, I'm going to work on that at some point. Um, I'm guessing it's going to be like in the same sort of a blues mode that this whole thing is in. But um, like I said, theory later, learn how to play it now, and then you can kind of figure it out um, why you're doing it later. But um, okay, that's pretty much all I got for you. So hopefully this has been helpful. Please contact me if you have any questions. And um, yeah, cool. Thanks. <laughs>